Hello everyone, uh, this is a quick follow up video on my Scott Aspect 940. I just wanted to show you guys some of the upgrades that I've done to this bike since the last time you saw it and just kind of an update on how, how it's been working out for me. So a couple things that I upgraded since I got this bike um, and I'll just go from top to bottom. But I got new grips. These are lock-on grips. These are the Ergon GA2s. And this one came with just the slip-on grips and I found that after a little while of riding, my hands got super sweaty. And they would kind of slip off of my grip. So I got these Ergons. They seem a lot better. They're also a lot shorter, uh, which I have small hands, so that's nice. Then I can move my my brake and my shifter levers a little bit over so I can actually reach them without having to like shift my hand over every time. Um, so these are pretty nice. Uh, they're not cheap but we'll see how long they last. Hopefully I don't have to buy any new ones for a while. So yeah, these are the Ergon GA2s. I almost got the GA3s because they had the mini wing and I do get a little bit of arm fatigue after a while or hand fatigue right here. but. These seem to be doing okay. Uh, anyway, moving moving on. Uh, I actually got this cheap bottle cage from Wish.com, and I'm not endorsing Wish.com by any means because I ordered some other stuff that hasn't made it yet. But this was one dollar. I only paid for shipping, and it came fairly quickly and holds my plastic water bottle just fine. Uh, I made a rookie mistake and went on a trail with a metal water bottle and I thought my bike was falling apart so don't do that uh, yeah so moving along I got this tow peak mini pump uh, I just strapped it to the to the seat tube here uh, and it's pretty great it works well if you're in a pinch uh, if you're not in a pinch use a bigger pump because this one's gonna take you forever to inflate your tires but if you're in a pinch, it works great, and I can do Schrader or Presto valves. Uh, probably the biggest thing I, or at least the biggest difference maker that I've upgraded, are the pedals. The pedals were these cheap, pretty slippery plastic pedals. Um, they're just they're not very good. So if you buy this bike, I would recommend you spend some money and get some better pedals. Um, at least if you're gonna. Uh, go on a trail and not just commuting but yeah these are the race face Chester pedals they're very grippy like no slipping anymore they're awesome uh, I also noticed that my chain stay here was chipping already from the chain slap uh, the bike comes with a clear sticker that ends like right here and the paint was actually chipping like right here so it just needed a little more protection and I saw people on the internet do this. They buy this like Scott rubber tape and they put it on there as a chain protection type of mechanism. Uh, it doesn't look awesome. I did a kind of a bad job on it but it works. It does the trick. The bike's a little bit quieter so that's nice. Uh, and yeah I got this toe peak kind of seat bag here. Um, I carry a spare tube in here, a couple of tire levers, a couple of zip ties just in case. And then it's nice because when I go on the trail I can put my wallet and my phone in here. It fits kind of snug but it fits and I don't have to carry a backpack with me which I appreciate and my back doesn't get all sweaty. Uh, one thing I was going to mention about this bike is I was expecting to, you know, buy it and then go buy an, another seat uh, or another saddle because everybody said oh yeah you're gonna want to upgrade your saddle but I've had really good luck with this Syncross 3.0 saddle I haven't had to change it or anything my my butt is never sore after a bike ride which is really nice um, anyway let's see what else I don't think oh I, I did do some modifications here I kind of tighten up these cables it was kind of rubbing uh, 
on the fork here and it was kind of already rubbing the paint off of off the fork um, and then I did buy a bike light that I might do another video on it's a it's kind of a smart light that is pretty cool but yeah I've been rocking this bike for about two and a half months already I use it every day to commute to work it's great for that and then I use it at least once a week to go go on my local trails here and it's worked out for me so far so yeah this is just a follow up of my Aspect 940 uh, Scott bike if you want a full walkthrough of the bike uh, I made a video about that so you can see it in the link description alright guys that's all I have Thank you.